Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, and welcome back to our final episode of Something New Saturday on Does Train Sim World. So as you know, in the last episode, I may have mentioned that this episode wasn't gonna happen. Stupidly, I didn't realize that it was a leap year this year, and we got one extra day in February. So Saturday the 29th of February, is our final Train Sim World video for Something New Saturday. So today we are uh, trying out the new and latest DLC um, that Dovetail Games and Train Sim World have put out and that is the um, Canadian National Railway. So in today's scenarios um, we will be trying Maple Leaf Motoring. So keep the cars rolling by processing the latest batch of new cars for export. So this is using the GP9RM CM. That might mean something to you if you're into your trains, but to me it just means it's a great big train with probably lots of carriages. So let's head on over to Canadian Railway and we will start today's job. So welcome to Oakville Yard. It, as we mentioned, it is the Canadian National Railway. So let's climb aboard the GP9 RM to get started. So that is this big old beast in front of us. So it's a twin diesel electric loco. It's something. I'm not getting into my trains, but all I know is it's got a significant amount of power and uh, it is going to have more than enough power to shift stuff around. So let's jump into to the engineer seats for today. Okay, insert the reverse handle. Insert. Insert. God, it's so fussy when you get like... There we go, perfect. So, set this to forwards. Let's turn on the generator field. Turn that to freight. Perfect. To start off today, head over to the manufacturing plant to collect your first cut of auto rack cars okay so perfect so let's set this to release and get ourselves moving so while the train's being propelled to the next location be aware of any further switches that may need setting okay so that's probably guessing that we're going to need to move something I don't know. let's just have a quick look at the track map so fine. All right, perfect. So I don't know if that needed setting, but probably did. So let's just come to a gentle stop. So let's just quickly check our route out. So we are going that way. blue line so does that need changing yeah there we go perfect so that's all fine they all seem to be set correctly that one needs changing all right and that should in theory be happy um, and have all the points set in order for us to do the various routes that we need to do today I don't know what happens if we don't set those correctly but um, I'm not about to find out by derailing this train we got a thousand yards before we get to speeding a little bit. Got to remember to check our speed when it comes to this. So yeah, so this is the, um, I say Oakville, um, I guess freight yard. So it is predominantly a freight, well it is mainly actually a freight um, uh, job, this particular uh, DLC. So yeah, it has these rather cool looking diesel electric locos I believe. Someone will probably be, um, be telling me, why can't I keep an eye on the speed? Alright, perfect. So, let's... Let's slowly creep through. Got to modulate the speed a little bit better. But yeah, so there's a number of um, 
on this particular one anyway, a number of different jobs that you could do. Obviously one of which is uh, the auto racks, which are predominantly uh, car transporters as far as I'm aware. Uh, you also have some ethanol um, uh, tankers, so those are um, uh, pretty cool. We've done the tutorial on those just to see how they get filled up. Um, and they, they require obviously a little bit of, uh, <laughs> of adjustment to fill them up. Um, and then yeah, predominantly as I say, there's, there's others um, in terms of other freight um, uh, carriers and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty pretty good if you're into your sort of freight handling and planning. Um, I think it's even a job where you can uh, uh, where you set up the yard. So where are we going? So we're going there. That needs to be set to there. That needs to be set to there. So that should be us all set up and ready to go for the right cars today. So let's make sure we're heading into the right lane. So yeah, we need that one just there. So so yeah, I think this is predominantly set around, if I remember rightly, a vehicle manufacturing plant, which I guess is there. Um, and yes, yeah, so they can uh, can be used to transport large amounts of cars out of one area and into another uh, probably for export or for redelivery into uh, Canada and America I guess all right so let's make sure we couple up nice and gently this isn't gonna be gentle near enough all right so let's wait for it to connect up all right perfect so set the automatic brake handle to off off, is that an off? Handle off, there we go. Set that to cut out. Set the area trail. Is that? Set the MU to a valve to trail or six. Where on earth is that? Not there. Oh, it's that. Is that going to work? How on earth do we get this one? This is a long way down. There we go. Eight or dead to six or 24. Maybe 24. 24, there we go. Perfect. Set the reverser to... Get that out first. All right. Set the reverser to neutral. Move the reverser handle. Go. Cool. And then climb aboard the front engine. So let's jump down the stairs. Right, perfect. So and back up there. That one. In there. Perfect. So put in the reverser handle. Set it to forward. Set the brake cut out to freight. Engine run. Generator fields on. Set the brake to release. Okay, perfect. So that's it. So we are all coupled up. As you can see there. Um, all connected up to one of these carriages. So let's uh, let's start ourselves moving. So, we are pulling this, what is it, four, two, three, four, five uh, carriages out of um, the yard here. Hopefully, no, we don't have to connect up to any others, so that's nice and, and easy. Just one bank of um, trains for today, so we are going via Oakville Yard. About, what we're we talking about, 743 yards. Actually, before we do this, let's just make sure we've got the right um, track set up. So we want that one. It's fine. All right, perfect. So that'll get us the right uh, tracks selected. Make sure we don't end up in the wrong siding. So 
so we're not actually stopping at this um, uh, this waypoint, so we're actually just going through it. Let's get not too much speed up. Let's get a little bit of speed on. I think we can get up to 15 mile an hour. I think in this one. I think so. I think this one, this particular job, uh, takes about an hour, so it should be uh, it shouldn't be too long. We'll try and uh, try and condense it into one episode. If there's any bits we can cut out. Uh, we will do. Um, it's just that we don't want to have a particularly long episode if we can get away with it. But obviously still want to show you what we do. So, there we go. So nice. Nice environment. So really enjoying this train. There's obviously a bit more uh, freight rather than passengers. We've done uh, predominantly passenger um, episodes so far with, uh, with the uh, UK and uh, American routes so far. Uh, obviously, it was only logical that we go to our <laughs> to North America and, and head to Canada. So um, let's go. See, so, yeah, I've got about 100 yards to go for this next waypoint. Yeah, it's good to see the let's say new DLC. I did watch the original stream. Um, when the developers did this game and they were saying obviously all the bits and pieces that they are, they're looking at it was really good to see that they were interested in in hearing from uh, those of us that sort of play the game and see what uh, what suggestions if any we want to make um, for future DLC um, the guys they're really passionate about this game it's 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 definitely sort of um, definitely been been a game for enthusiasts um, and they obviously show their passion for this uh, uh, for railways and stuff like that, the amount of detail, I mean even like I say from watching the previous episode, the baby bullet um, uh, stream, that is uh, it is amazing that they're saying that the, the, the work that goes into making sure um, that these are accurately recreated um, is, is, is really phenomenal, so um, yeah the fact, the, say, the fact that the um, you know they go out to location, they do all the kind of like the filming, the videos, the photos, uh, even down to sound, so say the fact they strap microphones onto these things um, in, in all kinds of different places to try and get the right amount of sound even as I say like when you open the window the fact that the sound changes is, is, is amazing. Um, yeah it really shows a, a true sort of enthusiast um, and that they've got passion for, for what they do and it shows you know you look at this and, and, and I mean not only is it recreated amazingly, sounds beautiful um, but yeah, definitely, uh, say definitely shows. All right, so let's slow down here. Gentle. All right, this is going to be too short. Yeah, probably. Let's creep forward a little bit. Even the sounds of the, the train and everything as it goes. And, uh, and you can hear it sort of just creaking, and even the carriages and things. Perfect. Oh, there's another one in the background. It's going to stop. There we go. Perfect. So, go via location. So, okay, let's just quickly change some of these. Where are we going? We're going into that one. Okay, and else that you set up fine. Yep, let's uh, set up fine. Right, so let's select reverse. Let's start creeping backwards. I don't. I guess we're just parking these up in this siding here. It's a bit of throttle going. Hopefully, it should be going into the right siding if we've selected the uh, points right. So are we, I guess we're coupling up to this other one here. We may be leaving it here or we may be, uh, may be heading on to get more. Perfect. Oh. Buy this location. See what it does. Perfect. Yeah, so 
couple to formation, couple to the rest of the auto rack cars. So, yeah, so as mentioned, we are connecting to this next bank of cars down here. Let's say whether we're leaving all of them here or whether we're going to then take these further, I don't know, but we will find out. We connect up to them, hopefully, Let's not do this too heavy. I don't know whether or not if this is, <coughs> say, if you hit them too hard, whether they. Uh, actually do any damage or whether you fail anything but we don't want to don't want to find out let's go so so let's slide down just a little bit gentle uh, gentle tap as we, uh, we connect them up together there we go perfect all right so it's all connected all right so I guess we are Quick look at the map. Okay, so we are heading down now to our destination at Burlington. So let's make sure we've got the right track set up. That one. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That one's fine. Fine, that one needs to be switched. Perfect. So does that one. Fine. Switched. Still red, so that's fine. And that should be it. That should be then us out. So, right, let's jump back inside. Let's put the reverser. Well, no, reverser forwards. And let's get all of this big old train. Big old train moving. Right, so we are heading through, hopefully onto the right track. Got an 11 mile journey to go, so hopefully speed wise we're not too, at least the brakes might get us a bit speedier. Right, good, so lights have gone green, so hopefully we should be okay to go through. We are really heavy, so we have a lot of carriages. Uh, yeah, really long, heavy train. So, still doesn't stop at speeding though. All right, so let's do that one. It just gives us a little bit of uh, like slow down when we come off the power. I'm not sure if it is technically the way you're supposed to do it, but it's um, it does give us that little bit of uh, ability to come off the. I guess like a bit of a like a retarder in uh, in a bus or a coach. Um, gives us the ability just to come off the power a little bit and slow down. Um, helps us to modulate speed somewhat. Right, so we've got 60 mile per hour limit coming up here, so we should be able to uh, hopefully. Hang on, let's for a second. Make sure we've got the right track. Yep, yeah, we're fine. All right, just worried for a second there. We may have. Uh, May have picked up the wrong, uh, the wrong line. I think we're okay. Right, perfect. So yeah, so guys, I think I say I think you guys have as well, and obviously I have been really enjoying Train Sim World. Um, trains were never something that I kind of thought about. Um, for those of you that caught one of the earlier model, uh, sorry, earlier episodes. Um, you would have probably heard the story um, of how I got into Train Sim World, but um, but no, it was um, it's been really good. As I say, the uh, fact that we have so far <laughs> been um, been enjoying all these different routes. I say the variety of route is is, is great. So there's a lot of other DLCs, a lot of the original base game um, that I got that even still haven't tried. So. You know, different routes. Obviously, like the CSX heavy haul elements and some of the German lines, um, which we haven't even got into yet. So there's there's a lot to do with this, and, and obviously a lot of DLC coming out. Granted, the DLC is not cheap. I think for this, we're looking for this particular episode. I know obviously it is multiple routes, but it, it's somewhere in the realms of uh, of I think twenty five pounds on Steam at the moment. So enjoy it I think it is um, is good content 
think probably what we'll do is, is we'll utilise the, 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 the base elements that we've got already. And if you're interested in seeing more, as I say, as always, guys, if, um, if you hit the like button, um, put your comments in the comment section. Obviously, let us know. We will potentially carry this on. Um, obviously, we have a lot of stuff on the channel at the moment in terms of things like Tourist Bus, Firm Bus, and uh, Bus Simulator 18. Um, although, at the moment, obviously, finding things in Tourist Bus obviously a bit more difficult um, to do because there's no new content for that at the moment so what we might do is might dip out of others and into other series as things go by so yeah potentially I'm not saying that after February uh, Train Sim World is going to disappear I do really still enjoy it and uh, I think with new content like this coming out it, it just yeah it's it just proves that this is such a great game um, and one that yeah as I say for the grand scheme of things one I never thought I would enjoy as much as I did so yeah it's um I'm glad I've tried it, definitely am, um, and I'm glad you guys like it as well. So, uh, fingers crossed going forwards, um, it will be back w with new episodes, maybe either um, as, as new content comes out or, uh, or or as we revisit the old game. But if there's anything you want to see, obviously please do let me know. Um, the announcement will be coming out for March is something new Saturday uh, uh, within 24 hours of this uh episode coming out so keep an eye on that and as always it's say guys if there's anything you want to see um, any suggestions you want to make for something new Saturday then please put them either down in the comment section or on the Instagram post when they come out for the new uh, elements uh, and yeah as I say we will endeavor to try we do have uh, a couple of games potentially lined up and a few uh, few that I've got in mind but um, yeah we will, we will see all right so if we've got anything I can mess around with Bell. Oh, bell Horn. There we go. Oh, look at that. So I've got Horn Annabelle. Lights on. Right. Look at that. There we go. Just mess around with random buttons and see what comes on. Uh, step lights on. Ditch lights on. do if they did anything. Yeah, maybe. Right, loads of like random buttons to press. This thing's on. That's off. Alright, so. Turn the bell off. Rear headlights. Alright. Front headlight? Where's the front headlights? Front headlights. Right, there we go. Let's slow this down a little bit. I'm guessing we didn't have to mess around with any of these points. No, there's no points here to mess around with. So, um, right, I guess we're just uh, letting this bit do itself. Obviously, it's just in the yards where we have manual points to worry about. I guess once we're out and about on the main line, it's all automated. Um, all right, come on. Let's get speed back up. Gone through a bit of a, th a slowdown zone here, I guess, as we're changing tracks, maybe. In. Love that. In fact, when you press 2, that's not even the back of the train. It just picks up the midpoint of where you started from. Alright, good. So, we're back up to 60 again. So, it does take such a long time for this to uh, uh, for this to get any speed. As you can see, it's barely picking up speed as it stands. Um, it's really struggling. I say it is heavy. Um, quite a lot of carriages. As you can see, I don't know if we can do this, but yeah, if you look at it there, and we're still <laughs> still in the background, we haven't even made it through uh, various different zones, so um, yeah, obviously pretty cool update, um, I say lots to do in this, lots of different routes, they are longer routes, I think as you'd expect for um, a sort of DLC where it's spread out over... Um, a bigger country, a bigger area. Oh look, there's another one coming the other way. Um, he got on the back, so he's got what looks like. I guess that's just uh, like gravel and bits pieces like that. Um, 
but yeah, it's interesting that, as I say, part of this is built around a, uh, a line like we've got here, uh, and some of it's built around like a siding, so some of the elements you can do are just pushing stuff around sidings and shunting and kind of all that fun stuff. Um, I think it's one episode where you can be like a, a depot manager and you can um, you just move bits around, build up trains, fuel things and, and do all that kind of fun stuff. Which, you know, that's a different element to it, um, as well as obviously things like just travelling routes like we've got here. Level crossing coming up here. Nothing waiting. No, nothing waiting. Um, but yeah, so there's loads of different jobs you can do, loads of different things. Let's say, bell off. Thank you. Um, yeah, so loads of different things you can do just to keep the um, the missions and episodes different. As you can see, like a lot of industrial area around where we are. Lots of factories. So yeah, obviously quite a an industrial um, area to, uh, to, to to do this get normally once you've got something like a big manufacturing plant like a car plant there's loads of little industries around it um, that thrive off it that su survive off it and uh, yeah say so they tend to build up quite a uh, sort of like an epicenter of, uh, of, of engineering and uh, manufacturing so yeah it's not unusual to find that um, good manufacturing base for is for cars and stuff like that do uh, do require quite a big infrastructure and there's a mass you know obviously a lot of housing and stuff in the distance a lot of the canadian housing looks the same as everywhere else but i guess that's um, to be expected they're not going to design different houses for uh, <laughs> for different areas if they can uh, can save themselves a job all right so just got siding coming up here so as you can see that's the ethanol uh, filling station so uh, that's where you put your cars in and uh, so they all connect up. I say tried the training element of that and uh, yeah, uh, it wasn't too bad. We didn't end up setting fire to anything. Um, we didn't end up exploding anything, which is which is always a bonus, you know. Not not setting something on fire. There's one there with multiple platforms. Um, so yeah, you can get much bigger trains in that one. Uh, a lot of uh, car parks and stuff. Oh, where did that go? Oh, that's because it's building. Passenger train station, although it's not used, a well, really bad slowdown when it comes to that. Yeah, computer doesn't like smoke. Um, all right. So it's green lights of six and a bit miles till our final destination. Let's see what happens when we get there. Got quite a lot here by the looks of it. Now we're going fire locations, so we're not actually. Stop jets. We've got quite a uh, quite a trip here. So, all right, perfect. So let's go on through. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure this is about a half hour run. So, so fingers crossed, we should um, should be able to cut out maybe a little bit of the boring bit. But um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, those are little sort of things, roads. Cars going up and down. Oh. Cars going over the top of cars. There you go. I don't know if there's anything in these. I know you can potentially get out and check. Oh, look, the river. Beautiful, those. Right, anyway. So, 5.6 miles to destination, uh, sorry, to location. So, that is Burlington. Then we've got Bayview Junction, Hamilton Approach. So, there's quite a few. Um, different routes that uh, sorry different waypoints we've got today um, if I remember rightly from the map yeah as you can see here we're sort of all the way down sort of to that oh, wrong button there we go to there so let's let's just get to this bit so I think that's probably what we'll do because it is just pretty much just straight um, straight routes and uh, look, there's a lot of graffiti in the background. More RVs, loads of rubbish dumps all over the place. Random skips, so. Um, yeah, because it's kind of pretty much for muchness in terms of uh, routes and locations. So, I think probably what we'll do is let's, um, let's cut a little bit out so this doesn't become like an hour and 10 minutes worth of episode. 
So let's cut a little bit out, as I say. We'll, um, we'll not cut too much, but um, if we find anything interesting on the way there. Baseball grounds. Found something interesting already. Um, yeah, so if we find anything interesting, um, we'll cut back. Um, but yeah, I'm conscious that it is just going to be a fair old uh, trip of um, just this. So yeah, let's um, let's cut back in a second. Um, so we'll try and cut out about I don't know 20 minutes or so's worth of um, of, of, of train journey. Um, and as soon as we can get some uh, somewhere a bit closer, we will um, we'll cut back. So look, we've earned a reward for driven nine miles um, in total in this train so woo, nine miles woo All right another passenger station so it's like a what this would be I guess park and ride maybe who knows big old crane oh yeah so sorry anyway so let's um let's cut a little bit out and I'll catch you guys back here in a second all right guys so as you can see there um, we have now a radio message that uh, says we are being diverted so uh, due to emergency maintenance we are now going via Bayview Junction so I don't know where Bayview Junction goes I think it's down here somewhere um, but yeah so um, obviously a bit of a change to the scenario um, I'm guessing we were supposed to go somewhere else but where I don't know so we have about four and a half miles, I think, to Bayview Junction, and uh, yeah, kind of interrupted my uh, my idea to cut out twenty minutes. But um, as mentioned, yeah, <laughs> we're still pretty much the same, but obviously we're just diverting um, due to some uh, maintenance work. So yeah, I'll catch back with you guys in a second once we've uh, got a bit closer uh, to the next waypoint stop, wherever you want to call it. All right, guys. So <clears throat> we're uh, we're back uh, again. It really interrupted my idea to cut out 20 minutes, but um, we have a speed change coming up. So in about 0.8 of a mile, uh, we need to slow down to 15 mile an hour. Uh, we may well be changing points or track or something, but um, yeah, we we'll probably better start slowing down as this uh, thing will take an absolute age to stop. Maybe we maybe I was a bit underestimating how quickly this uh, this, this train will come to a stop, but let's back the brakes off just a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we need to slow down in about what are we talking seven hundred yards. So um, we have another via location next, so we will see uh, what happens when we get there. Right, perfect. So we're about fifteen something. A little bit over. 12 mile an hour so we'll get to 15 and crawl through as I say we have as you can see just 400 or so yards up there um, I'll change the speed limit so let's make sure that we have plenty of time to stop or at least slow down sorry not stop um, the, the environment's got very countryside all of a sudden we've gone from being in an industrial area full of uh, buildings, factories and stuff into a, yeah, a, 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 a more rural area where we've got lovely trees and rolling hills and stuff. Right, so that's a couple of hundred yards, we've got our speed limit changed, so maybe there's something coming that we don't know about, maybe there's a change of track coming that we don't know about. Might just be the fact that we're changing tracks. Like, it's coming through some points, so we might be changing track to maybe either go through a different section or try and get around these road, uh, these um, engineering works that are going on. But yeah, so possibly it's just getting through the points because it changes to a 30 a bit further up full speed and we're still it's the brakes yeah, we're still not picking up speed we are going downhill so we should naturally pick up speed not yet now we need 
So if we are, we're starting to okay, let's just break things back just a little bit. Perfect. A nice steady 15. So this must be the engineering works maybe. Going on. Who knows, but we've got 100 or so yards and then we can uh, crank back up a little bit. the brakes. So, I guess that was the engineering works maybe that we were slowing down for. Who knows? Right, let's try not to speed too much. Want to lose too many points if we can get away with it. Another third. Oh, that. So it goes 30 and then we got another notification in 600 yards that it's still 30. Cruising through to 30, let's see what we can change. So, we'll let's go here. On. On. High. Ah. Well, at least we can keep ourselves nice and warm when we're crawling through at 30 mile now. Right, so, we have our via location coming up here at uh, Bayview Junction. Amber light. Yeah, just a warning light, I guess. Right, so it's Slow down gently, so there you go. Via location Hampton Approach, which is 1.2 miles, so a uh, little short hop here. Action on that one. That's perfect. Just slowing down gently. But yeah, this must be the, uh, be the engineering works potentially. Stopping us from using that other line. Maybe, who knows? But that should be uh, should be okay for us at the moment. Should be okay in terms of uh, in terms of route, although we are slowing down too much. Right, we have another 15 mile an hour zone coming up, so probably not a bad thing that we're slow. But lakes now, so we've got rolling hills and lovely lakes. Canada is a beautiful part of the world. <laughs> I will say that there's a lot of beautiful countryside uh, and uh, and stuff to enjoy. Um, good. I just want to pick up speed. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, another track joining from our left hand side there. So let's just slow down a little bit till we get to this 15 mile an hour zone. Don't want to speed too much just in case we can derail. I don't know whether you can derail in this game. Someone probably will advise me um, accordingly. But uh, yeah, don't particularly want to try it. All right, so it looks like we've got a bridge coming up here on the right. Or steel bridge. Um, I get the feeling we're probably going to be going straight on there. Points look like this. So yeah, there we go. So we're swapping tracks. That's probably why we had the 15 mile an hour zone. Right, so we've got a red traffic light coming up. 1.5 miles, but our destination on oh, that's a via location. Um, look at that lovely road bridge. Increase sort of pillars and stuff on either side of that. That's beautiful. Amazing how this is, how well modelled this is um, in terms of things like that. Just the little details like that, the, the logos and stuff that are on it. What that says? There you go. Like a crest of arms, a coat of arms. Sorry. Um, all right. So we are still under 15. It doesn't seem to change the speed limit. I guess we're crawling the last uh, last few miles at uh, 15 mile an hour. At 1.3 miles we've got a red traffic light. There's a siding up here with some more trains. So that those are the different types of trains. So I'm not sure the technical term for those yellow ones, but they seem to have like a... Uh, I guess you put stuff on either side and they seem to be, uh, seem to be split. There's probably a technical word for them. 
um, obviously more of the aggregate trucks, I guess. Might be wrong, but they look like they've kind of got something in them, either raw materials or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, the other ones, obviously, that's uh, somewhere where they're used to store unused or maybe even broken um, uh, broken ones that need uh, need repairing because there seems to be a few random just odd ones sat there yep still only bringing us halfway down the train <laughs> right so we're struggling to pick up any speed and we've got another 15 mile an hour zone so it's probably not a bad thing that we are struggling to pick up too much speed it's really weird because yeah so we are <coughs> we are Going downhill, so I don't know. Maybe we've uh, we've still got the brakes on. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go through this. We'll see how far we've got till our next waypoint or stop or whatever comes up after this. Go via Hamilton Yard West. So okay. So do we need to do anything here? Oh yeah. Just slow down a little bit. I just want to make sure I've got the point set to the right place. All right. So look. So it's fine. So hopefully those points, yeah, those points are in the right place. That should take us round to there. Get points there. Follow the blue line. Oh, and then that's the next one. So it's good. We should be fine to uh, go from here. Everything should be set up for our right amount of points. It just means we now have to try and get this behemoth moving again. Oh, no, we've got. Okay. Gently. Start picking up some speed. I guess the little red lines there said that we were potentially getting wheel spin. Uh, we didn't need apparently I guess you can get a bit of wheel slip if you suddenly put the power down too much we obviously have got quite a heavy load so it's uh, not unusual that we would find uh, it's struggling to put the power down I guess you've got sand somewhere I don't know if you can do that no um, I guess you can put some sand down in order to uh, In order to uh, to help gain a bit more traction, um, so you can see another locomotive there with some look at that quite a mixture there of uh, of carriages, some um, TSX carriages as well. So yeah, quite a mixture. And I, I say I, I think that is one thing that this does do. It does link in some of the other um, elements of the game into um, into these. So yeah, you do end up getting. Um, other carriages and some of the CSX uh, carriages into it. There's another CSX one there. Um, aggregate truck, I guess. Um, yeah, so you get those other bits mixed in with it as well, which is which is cool. And good to see that you get uh, get other uh, other DLCs crossing over with uh, with each other. Uh, I think you have to have both of them in order for them to uh, uh, to work. So okay, we've got some red bits. Oh, these must be the very beginning of the carriage. So let's yeah, you see them starting to starting to come into place there. So we've got 500 or so yards before we need to um, we need to stop. So I guess that's how long a train we have. We have over 500 yards worth of carriages. So we'll um, we'll endeavour to try and stop on the marks. I think we are. Yeah, once we get to this point, we are stopped for today. So that I guess is the end of this bit. But um, We'll see if there's other speeding already. How can we manage to speed? So all through this, we've managed to keep within the speed limits. But now that we're in our almost like final stops, we're kind of uh, kind of speeding. So all right, let's pick up a bit of power because we now we've got the brakes set right. It does seem to be slowing us down somewhat. All right, perfect. 
couple hundred yards now till we get to the end. Crank up the power a bit. Go, start getting some forward momentum. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed this so far. I say really enjoying this DLC. Um, I say it's very, uh, as you'd expect, as everything else is in this game, it's very well made. Um, the graphical elements of it and the, the functionality, like what the, 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 the wipers. Luckily, it's not raining. Um, but yeah, you know, even sun visors and stuff. So yeah, they're 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 all, they're all cool. It's all really great, and I've really enjoyed this series so far. Um, uh, yeah, really enjoyed doing this. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching as well. If you have, please always remember to click the like button. Uh, do appreciate um, anyone taking time to watch these videos. Um, still doesn't um, still doesn't sink in that we've got people still wanting to watch these videos and just watch me playing games. So yeah, thank you for all those that have subscribed um, and all of those who continue to watch. Perfect. Right. So let's reverse it to neutral. Automatic brake handle to off. Handle off, there we go. Trains will be stabled here until the disruption associated with the maintenance clears. Okay, so is that it? Are we done? There we go, perfect. So, yes, answer to that question, we are done. Alright, perfect. So, as you can see, we yeah, we took about it's about a 50 minute journey in total um we traveled 20 miles driven and 82 yards walked um as you can see for the green line we managed to stay mostly under it a couple of times we went over um at the beginning uh, and <laughs> towards the end um but yeah i think we did all right with that one so i really enjoyed that one um I think yeah definitely uh, assuming it continues to get the views and as new stuff comes out we will be revisiting train sim world in the future so guys thanks for watching i say if you have enjoyed the video please do click the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do click the subscription button don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified when new episodes come out um, and as always guys if there's any suggestions for something new saturday please put those in the comment section below or on the relevant posts on my instagram um, but yeah guys thanks for watching i say any questions queries thoughts or suggestions as i say please do put those in the comment sections below but yeah thanks for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you all again soon take care bye